Hello, it's Nancy. Today I'm going to teach you about how to how to shop cheaply. Now, along the grocery store aisle, fresh is going to go bad in your store in your in your fridge, and it's going to cost you a lot of money. Frozen works well. Now, iceberg lettuce. I like iceberg lettuce. Um, but it doesn't have as much vitamins in it as romaine. But you have to really like lettuce to do romaine. Now, you see the ginger. Fresh ginger is 99 cents a pound. So you could take one of those for 99 cents and you could slice it up thin and you could make candied ginger, right? That's quite a lot of... I don't know how much is in a pound. I wonder where that is. Okay, um, now potatoes are your best bet for um, a starch. Potatoes are not bad for you. Now the price at this time of the year is pretty high because we're at the end, you know, they're not growing right now. So this is last year's potatoes and there's different kinds. You can get, this is white potatoes and let's see what these are. I guess these are white potatoes. Now you can see all this dirt here. See, these potatoes have not been washed very well. So to make your life easier, if you get some potatoes that are already washed well, see how well they're washed? See how there's not, there's not dirt coming out of them? So this would be a better idea to get than the dirty ones. Then you don't have to work as long scrubbing them. Okay, so now for $4, is that what they're worth? I don't see the sign there. Okay, this is a very high price for potatoes right now, but still, $4 for 10 pounds. That's um, 40 cents a pound. Now, if you're used to making stuff like Kraft Dinner or macaroni, it's probably going to cost you at least that, but there's not, not much nutrition in uh, macaroni, whereas in um, in potatoes, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of good vitamins for you. Okay, so now you don't need to buy you don't need to buy things that are already made. You can make them yourself. Now, if you buy cheeses, the ones that are going to be the least expensive are going to be local. So even though these might might look like a good deal, this is 15.99 a kilogram, which is a lot of money, right? If you buy them um, in big long blocks, they're a lot cheaper. And also, if you make your own pizza, now cabbage is a good one. You see, a cabbage, a cabbage for a dollar, what is, how much is a cabbage here? Dollar twenty-nine each. See, for this, um, you can, it's got so much, it's so heavy, right? You can make a lot of, you can make a lot of meals out of cabbage. You can easily use cabbage for lettuce if you want. Okay, also, if you buy your onions in a big bag like this, Look for the onions that are not, you don't want to get little tiny onions and spend all your day peeling them. If you get the big onions, see the big ones? So then you don't have to spend as long cutting them up. It's always good to have onions on hand. Because you can always eat a meal of, right there, cabbage, onions, and potatoes. That'll probably feed you, you know, many, many meals. And it's going to cost you four, eight, maybe ten dollars for that much food. I would say you can get, I don't know, I can't say how many because I don't know how many people are in your family. Okay, and then if you buy your oil, now these sunflowers, did you see? This is four kilograms for eight dollars. Now if you buy them in the twenty kilogram bag for twenty dollars, you see you're saving a lot there. Now also, you see how this one, you're buying less of them, and maybe you think that you don't need many onions because they, they go bad so quickly, but onions will last for a long time, and if you put them in the fridge, they'll last forever, it seems like. In the spring, they will start to sprout, like that. But that's okay, because you can eat that. You don't have to throw that away. Okay, and now, um, there are certain seasons for these things. These are all pretty expensive, but if you watch your prices, like here we have Granny Smith apples for 79 cents a pound. 
you see so that's this is a really good deal for, for Granny Smith apples and Golden Delicious are 79 cents a pound. Now I'm at Food Basics and Red Delicious 79 cents a pound. And what is this one? Royal Gala apples. Now these are all nice and crisp apples. I like the Royal Gala best. Look, I don't see any plastic bags here. I usually bring my bags in. Now you see, that's a eight eight dollars for a kilogram, four dollars a pound. If you buy it from a beekeeper, you can generally save them all. I find that Royal Gala apples stay good for a long time and they're nice and crisp. Now, you can make your own of this. All you need is oil and vinegar and some, some herbs. If you really like a certain kind, what you can do is you can look at the recipe on the back and you can see what it is they put in it. But you don't need to spend that money for that. You can instead buy a big container of, of vinegar for very cheap and you can buy some oil. Now, the big oils are the cheapest. This is $4.99 a pound, or $40.99 each for them. That's a good price right now. I'll get that for making my soap. You can also get olive oil, which is also good for you. There again, usually the biggest bottle is the cheapest. You see, this is 72.9 cents per 100 milliliters. So just for, you don't have to remember that number, just 72.9. This one is 53.9, so I was wrong. This kind is more expensive than this kind, even though this is a smaller bottle. See, that was 72, this is 53. This is 79, 65, 52. This is safflower, though. Okay, what is this? 93, 110, 110. So if you're going to buy olive oil, this is your cheapest one. Okay, what about down here? Now, the psychology of, of shopping is to put the most expensive things right in front of you and the cheaper things to the top and the bottom. So this one is 84 and 93. So here you've got this one. This one looks like this one, right? But, um... These are MC. What's that? Some Master Choice trade one. Anyway, so these are these are expensive, even though they're larger. So if you wanted to get olive oil, this would be your size, the cheapest size. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think I'll get I'll get some oil for making soap while I'm here. even $50. Okay, so, and then here for mayonnaise. Now the cheapest way to buy mayonnaise, well the cheapest thing to do is make it at home. And I've got a video showing you how to make it at home. But if you don't want to do that, then salad dressing, um, which one is it? These are all mayonnaise. Whipped dressing is going to be your cheapest. See, 27, 29, 42, now this one's marked down. Let's see, 42, 42. So you have to watch those little numbers, these numbers right here, per 100 milliliters. Okay? Now you can also make your mustard. You can buy powdered mustard and just mix it. You don't have to spend that much for these things. Okay, I'm going to go to the next.